morning guys. It is uh, day one, I'm gonna call it. This is the first driving day. Uh, we're going from uh, Portland to Walla Walla, which is where Villains is. Uh, today's kind of a toge road trip, kind of just chill out, you know, media kind of day. Uh, tomorrow's the actual first track day. Um, all the other guys are rolling out. There goes Rudy and the trailers of support group. These guys are rolling out. Uh, our car's still on the dyno. We've got some work to do. We've got an oil cooler line. Bye, Shelly. We've got an oil cooler line that needs fixed. We've got uh, the car on the dyno that needs to get tuned. So um, while everyone else is rolling away, we are here working. Um, I wouldn't say it's a whole lot of work we have to do, but it's definitely uh, some stuff we need to get done quickly so we can get on the road. I want to hopefully be able to catch up with these other guys. So we're going to get in the shop and start getting to it. It was kind of a late night last night. I uh, made the oil line that we needed, but it didn't work perfectly and I was already super tired and just mentally exhausted. So it was like, let's just go sleep, get back in the morning and hit it. And even so, we only still got four hours of sleep. <sighs> Alright, so update on what's going on. Cars on the dyno, we got the oil cooler fixed after making 50 different styles of lines and fittings and stuff. We finally got that working, it's not leaking. Oscar's up there with the laptop, he's gonna tune the car. Uh, Damien, Damien, Damien got offered to drive that beautiful right hand drive uh, car, what do they call that, a rollback? Whatever the Japanese call it. It's, it's super cool. That's Hino? Cool. Yeah, the Hino. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so Damien's gonna drive that uh, for the dude who, from Maryland, right? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah. So he's driving it from track to track for that guy. So uh, we're losing we're losing our between track media. Yeah. But he gets a good deal. He gets to drift the Sylvia that's on that. So that'll be a blast. So that'll give us a little bit more uh, good times. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're about to get this done, hit the road. He's going to go take off and, and get going because that thing probably goes 40 miles an hour. 60. 60. 60. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it also it doesn't start. No, it doesn't start. Has to be push started. The uh, brakes, brakes are work. terrible. So yeah. it's just like the dog. Yeah, cool. It's just, we're yeah. already ready for this. You've been training. I've been training. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so we're going to go do our canyon cruise, meet up in uh, at Villains today, and hopefully everything goes smooth with the tune. Oscar's just doing like these little mild pulls on the dyno and he revs it up and then lets it decelerate and it's uh <laughs> he, he totally put a crackle tune on it because we were talking about that last night and I didn't think it was actually going to happen but he did it. Alright guys, so we're on the dyno and it's not making the power that I want and I don't have a boost controller. So I've been using a drill bit to turn up the boost. We got a little bit more boost out of it. But I want more boost so we got a bigger drill bit. Just drilling a hole right here in that plastic line. So we'll see what it makes. We're not making very much right now, but I wanted to get it turned up. Oh man, that's a lot of 
more boost. So that run we got to 404. Oscar gives the approval. We're getting, we're getting more boost. I don't know if he likes my method, but the results are, the results are working. I'm gonna keep going. I wanna see like 450, 500. What, too much? How many holes have you drilled? I, there's two holes, but I keep making both of them bigger. I just drilled straight through the thing. Oh. I'll, try, I'll try one size bigger. I may just have to put springs in it. That may be the way to go, is just go bigger springs, but it's a pain to take them off. I'm not gonna do that today. All right, guys, we're going bigger. This is a 3 16 drill bit all the way through. So there's two holes in the plastic with a 3 16 bit. So I'm not gonna do the math for you because I don't do math, but that's pretty big. I can't believe it's a, uh, like, I thought it was gonna make a bigger difference for smaller holes, but I'm actually having to go pretty big to make a small difference in boost. It's got the, it's got, should have the, the limiter set. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta turn it up. That was about 20 pounds almost. That was? Yeah. I, th I think I used the wrong size drill bit. We made some changes to the cam timing. And, uh, it actually made, it picked up torque at the low end. So Oscar, it made such a big difference. He has to go through and rescale the, the fuel because it's, uh, it's that far off. I thought it would be just a little bit, but. It was like a huge difference in fueling. But, I don't know if that's correct, but that's our range. We're about 420 and 400. I would definitely like more power, but uh, it is what it is. I mean, I think the car is going to be drivable. It's going to feel pretty solid. Oscar's doing a super, super good job, super thorough. Um, he's taking his time. He spent quite a few hours on the dyno now, getting everything dialed. The drivability should be good. The full full power should be good. Like, I'm really, I'm really stoked on this. Oscar's like top-notch tuner. Uh, Trenton is loading up, getting his car ready to go to Pro-Am. Um, he's... <laughs> That's not the right side of the car to be driving. Listen. How, why are you coming with it? Do it what? All right, you wanna know what? Just like you, okay, you stancy boys, Oscar said, lower the rear. <laughs> and guess what? Now I can't get out of my car. <laughs> All right, so we ran into an issue. Uh, the car was sounding really good on the dyno. The calibrated hole and the, uh, um, messed with the cam timing and it was gaining torque and it sounded really healthy until it didn't and now we have a bad head gasket uh maybe bad ring or a broken ring land but definitely bad head gasket uh one of the cylinders is hurt so it could be a motor uh it could be a problem with being a used motor i mean it was a, a, a rebuilt used motor um, I used some pistons that were questionable. There's a lot of possibilities. It could have been from messing with the cam timing. It could have been from having 22 pounds of boost. It could have been from drilling a hole. Who, know, who knows what it is. But anyways, uh, we're going to do a head gasket right now. We're going to stay here and fix the head gasket. Oscar has one. If it's a bad ring, I think it'll, it'll still work all right um, for the rest of the trip. It's just going to be a little bit down on power and have a little bit of smoke. But uh, yeah, major bummer. But we're going to work. We're going to start working. Um, this time Seth is hanging out to help out. Uh, I think we can get it done really quick. These heads are really easy to get off, so. <sighs> yep, back to work. All right guys, so we're just getting started. I'm pulling the head gasket. Um, basically, luckily Oscar had a head gasket for us. We're gonna pull the head off, leave the engine in place, um, drain all the fluids. The turbo is a little bit complicated to mess with, so we're gonna try and leave it, leave the manifold, leave the wastegates, leave all that stuff and just pull the head off. Uh, the wiring harness is basically married to the car at this point. It's way harder to get out, so we're going to have to unplug everything and then flop the harness off to the side. So that's going to take a little bit of time. It's got all the stock crap that goes through the middle of the runners. Um, time belt. It should, should be pretty straightforward, but it's, uh, it's 440. We're getting started. I think we can do it in less than three hours. Uh, it's off and back on, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, see, the drain's off, coolant line, coolant line, is all right. Keep that okay, we're good on turbo. Uh, there's always time for a break when we're working, even though we're on a time crunch. 
there's always time for a break when the ice cream man's in town. What do you what'd you get? Of course the SpongeBob. Yes. Nothing better. What are you getting? Oh man. Sick. Oh, we got so many choices. Yes, I love it. Ice cream man is always the way to go. Yes. All right, so we got to the point where we're uh, loosening head bolts, head studs. These are ARPs. Um, this is a somewhat built motor. It's a stock piston and rod bottom end GTE with a GTE head, uh, MLS head gasket, uh, head studs, cams. rod bolts, cams. So like it's done up. So we're trying to figure out the failure before we, you know, before we go too far. So um, Luke suggested that we get a torque wrench and check the the tension on the head studs since we pulled the first two and they didn't feel like, like, like I'll, I'll say Brandon spec because I over tighten my head studs. I always do and I never had a, have a failure. I remember this time I didn't go full to where I normally go. Anyways, Luke decided we should probably check it and we're about 75, which isn't like really bad, but that's like that's like 7 MGTE blown head gasket bad. <laughs> <laughs> like under under torqued factory spec so I don't know if it lifted if the uh, Seth was saying maybe the head gasket wasn't crushed properly and then retightened I don't know I've never had that problem before but obviously something happened I've never had this problem before so I don't want it to happen again so we're gonna double check our bases uh, when we're doing it um, on the install but it's about 75 and uh, yeah that's definitely not enough we found the damage The gasket failure was between three and four. It's probably between two and something. Kind of looks like there's detonation in this hole. A little bit. Not bad. Not terrible. You said it was number four, right? Yeah. Uh, there's a teeny bit of like scoring. The piston doesn't look bad. We might be all right. It might have like a slightly hurt wing. You pull that gasket off. I'm worried that if it's burned into the head in the aluminum, you know. Yeah. All right, you can see clear as day what happened here. Focus. We got cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder three. We have a compromise between three and four, and then we on four we have compromise between four and coolant right there, and then we have compromise between four and five. And then even five and six. So we had one, two, three, four failure points on this gasket. So it definitely lifted the head. Like that's the only explanation for this. So it looks like there was a lot of mild detonation on here. Um, I don't know if it's because of the hot spots because this is a head that we saved. Um, most machine shops, well, yeah, most machine shops which would say to throw this head away or have like major repairs done. But I tried to smooth down all the edges and make sure that it was as flat as possible so it wouldn't get hot spot detonation. But it's highly possible that running 22 pounds of boost was too much for uh, for this kind of damage so we may have had hot spot detonation. Um, wouldn't have that problem with an RP. <laughs> <laughs> so I went through and smoothed them down a little bit more and then we're just going to back off timing, add some fuel and hopefully it works. The problem with hot spot detonations, I don't think it cares about timing because it's going to get hot. Whether it, it, whether it sparks early or late, it's going to ignite when it gets hot and fires off. So hopefully a little bit of extra fuel will help that. Maybe higher octane, which we can't really get, but I think just pushing 22 pounds was the limit of what we could do on this motor. Um, look at that. Oops. Happened on all the back cylinders. I've never, I've never seen that happen before. God damn. Like it's through. I was worried the head was melted, but it's minimal. I'm glad we didn't, just loose didn't run it anymore. So we think it just wasn't like pre-crushed all the way down? Yeah, so so we started loosening head studs and they didn't feel right. So we grabbed your torque wrench and checked one of them and it was like 74, 75. Oops. And they're supposed to be 90. So, yeah. That's not good. Nope. So it probably just wasn't crushed all the way down entirely. I think we're probably was running, 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 running that much boost. Yeah, it might have lifted the head. Yeah, it might have just lifted the head. Alright. I mean, it did blow as soon as it pulled coolant. Yeah. So, I mean, it probably... Is.
The nice thing about this is that the head and the block have both been surfaced, so as long as we put a head gasket on and copper spray it, we should be on the money. What? What? New head gasket and copper spray? It could work ahead from 15. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. the first one a lot first, and then... And then, and then just... Yeah. 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 Have you ever I, I, had a I'm manifold a theory, gasket that's... I have a theory that it don't cut a decked head because then the cam core probably is going to be warped. If it's still warped, then you can just press it back down and it'll be flat again. <laughs> I don't know if that's how that works. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to the parts store. Gotta get some copper spray. Never ever put a Jay-Z head gasket on without copper spray. So we're on a mission to find copper spray and I'm worried that it's not going to be easy to find. Um, Searching, 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 searching. Oh, here it is. Yeah. You just paint it on instead of spraying it on. It's the same stuff. All right. It is not here. So we're going to have to go ask and see if they got it at the counter or go to O'Reilly, which is where we should have gone in the first place. Yeah. Or organic. Aha. $17? No. Ten twenty nine. Yeah, it's, still expensive. it's worth it. Totally worth it. This is the good stuff. Don't leave home without it. Uh, Why are you in the bushes? I'm not trying to not get overspray out there. <laughs> Go set it on the hood of Fielding's truck. Ah. goes in the back, yeah, just like that. Now that's proper. I don't want to touch your bone with that. Ah, it's on the back side, it's fine. Okay. So we did, uh, What'd you call it, Seth? Pre-crush. Pre-crush. Which essentially, you go through the torque sequence to step two out of three, which crushes the metal head gasket, and then you loosen them up, and then you go through the torque sequence again so you're not getting, it's kind of like when you, you it's binding almost the layers. Well, like, you know when you tighten a, a, a crush sleeve on a spark plug? It happens once, and then after that, it's, it's set. Something that I haven't done before. I've never had a head gasket failure, but I'm not gonna risk it anymore, so I'm adopting your policy, Seth. All right, the sun. The sun has gone down, and we're still at it. Uh, things are we're really, really close to being done here. Uh, everything went together pretty smooth. I think things are gonna work out just fine. Yeah, I think we've solved the issues that we thought we had that we didn't have. Yeah. The only thing I'm not sure about is the blow-by issue uh, out of the crankcase, whether there's a piston problem, damage to the piston, or whether it was actually seeping through the head gasket to like the oil return hole. So I guess once we start it, we'll know whether it's smoking or not. But other than that, I think we're gonna, we'll still have decent power and it's, it's gonna work out well. Um, which means I can probably put my uh, 22 PSI boost controller back in it and then, <laughs> and then blow it up again for the second time. <laughs> All clear? No smoke. Heck yeah, good job. Thank you, good job. Killed it. What was that? Five hours? Five hours. We started at 440. What time is it? Five hours. 942. Heck yeah. It was actually when I looked at the thing it was it was 542. Oh really? Yeah, but I just subtracted a couple minutes because we, you know. Heck yeah. Nice work boys.
The car's running. We got a long drive tonight. I don't think I'm going to do any more filming today. We've done enough. This is a, this is a wild day. Not how I anticipated the start of the trip. Uh, we did miss out a little bit on today. The guys had like a fun drive, but um, thanks for staying with me. Thanks for your help. Thanks, Scott, for staying, hanging out with us, helping us out. Yeah. Hugs for everyone. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the content. Sometimes it's not scripted. It just happens, and you just deal with it. So please, uh, if you would, leave a comment below what you guys think about the video, what you want to see us do tomorrow, not work, something different. And uh, what? I'm making hose, <laughs> not fixing broken ass Jeezy's. <laughs> If you got an RV, dude, you'd be we've, right. We've just telling you that. We've built too many hoses. I thought that was our biggest problem was hoses, but no, it wasn't. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. check and see what the weight was on this car. I stopped at a weigh station here. Uh, you can't see it from here, but it says 4,000 pounds. That's crazy, I don't know if I believe that. 4,000 pounds? Let's see what Seth is. Thirty, 3,200, Seth says 3,200 it says. I don't know if this is accurate or not. All right, back on the road.